Yeah. Right, cool. Hi, I'm Dave Cocott. I'm the fire protection engineer with Spokane Fire Department. And today I'm at the new fire station five. And fire station five is actually a, a house, uh, part of the Eagle Ridge development. And we're converting it over temporarily to a fire station until we were able to build our new one. One of the requirements we had is, is coming into this, this building is to put fire sprinklers into it. And although fire sprinklers are not very popular for the construction industry, it's something as a demonstration here of being able to show what, how good it looks and how well it's installed. Uh, it actually is a very good installation, a very simple installation for putting sprinklers into a house. And the purpose of this is once we're done with the station, we can move into our new one, we're going to be moving this back into being a single family residence again. So somebody's going to have a fire sprinkler system in their home. If you have a fire in this house, say we had a fire happening uh, tonight and people had to leave the house, sprinkler would activate, put out the fire, people would be able to move right back into that house. Once the fire has been put out, the water has been cleaned up, they could stay here. Uh, where you have a, a fire in a house that doesn't have fire sprinklers, they're probably not going to be moving back into the house for a while. Uh, that's a big thing. Plus, you don't lose your possessions. Uh, you basically be able to save the things that, you, that are important to you. Uh, the biggest one that I deal with all the time is we call it the Hollywood sprinkler situation. And, and people say, well, I don't want sprinklers in my house because this one's going to go off and that one and that one and that one. All the heads are going to go off at one time because that's what it does in, in the movies. And that's that, anything farther from the truth, we can definitely, uh, it's not even close. Uh, the sprinklers actually have a thermal element within these and only those heads that are exposed to that temperature are going to actually operate. So if we had a fire in this room, just this one head, there's only one head serving this, this living room here, that's the only head that's going to activate in the fire situation. Actually, there was some discussion uh, uh, on the press recently about uh, townhouse fire sprinklers, and it was $15,000 to install a sprinkler system for a 1,500-square-foot uh, townhouse. And we just have never seen that. Within the city of Spokane, we're seeing new installations for sprinklers around $1.20 to $1.40 a square foot. For an existing home, it's usually about $3 a square foot. It's still not that bad. You know, if you start comparing the costs of a house, uh, it's actually cheaper than you're going to be putting granite uh, countertops or your cabinets going in the house. It's going to be cheaper and it's going to save your house. It's something that's, uh, that's important. You know, another misconception of things as well is, is that uh, basically the, the concern is, is, well, why do I need sprinklers in here because I've got smoke detectors in my house. Well, one of the concerns that we've seen over time is it's not the, the fire that's going to kill people, it's going to be the smoke. And if you have something that smoke detector isn't functioning properly or even hearing it and you're in a deep enough sleep, you may not wake up from that. And if you don't wake up and it gets to be enough smoke, you will probably never wake up. So sprinklers will protect with that. Uh, another one is that they're high, they're, they're going to, actually this is a very strange one to me, is that it's going to freeze. Well. It's already in your house. It's already the same type of piping. It's the same type of insulation as the plumbing in the house. So uh, I actually had a comment from a, a, somebody at one of the hearings I was at for council, and they were saying, well, they don't want the water from the sprinklers mixing with the water in their domestic water because it would freeze the water faster. And it's all coming from the same place. It's all the same water. So the, the amount of freezing for this is just the concern about this is it could occur just as easily as a, as a domestic water system talked about it earlier is if you have a fire you're going to be probably moving back into the house with a sprinkler system right away. Uh, if, you, if the fire department does come in and we like using water, we'll probably use 10 to 20 times more water than a fire sprinkler is going to be and the damage is going to be more widespread because we have to get through the house to be able to get to where the source of the fire could be. So there, there's definitely a much more higher possibility of higher damage without having sprinklers. There's some national studies being done on, on construction of homes and uh, there was a very notable test uh, they basically did a side-by-side -side burn of, of, of new construction and then did another one of basically we call it uh, the, the, this older style of construction. They actually got an eBay and bought old furniture, they got old car art carpet, even did the, the walls in certain finishes in a certain way. Um, the flashover, which is when the, every, all, the con all the contents in the room explode in flame at one time, that's called flashover. The flashover in a normal constructed home similar to this would be about three and a half minutes. When they did the test for the, what they call the legacy homes, the old construction homes, it was almost 10 times longer. Uh, they thought it'd be five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and they got to 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Finally, at just over 30 minutes, the room went to flash over. So it was quite illuminating even for, our, for us, as for the fire service, to realize that, okay, those older homes can last quite a bit longer 
Now it's the contents, of course, which are the biggest concerns. One of the other things that we're also seeing, and I haven't been in the basement of, of, of our new station yet to see whether it has it, but is lightweight construction. Now they can hard getting lightweight beams or actually laminated beams that are put together. And what can happen on a floor like this is you can have a fire in the basement, and basically that heat will delaminate the beam, and all you have is the top stringer of the beam holding all the plywood up. So as you walk into this room, it looks no different than it would be if the beam was there or not there until you step on it and you fall through into the basement. And that actually is becoming a problem for a lot of fire services. We're going to new homes, we're starting to see more injuries and deaths of firefighters responding to new homes.